Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I will show how to rig and animate car with After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, go to layer, new and create new object for control car body. So change name, car, control and for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pan behind icon, classification tool and move to center like this. So in this time, select this background, let's lock layer and Select this shadow, link to car controller and select this black, let's link to car layer and select this black too, link to car layer, select this car layer, link to car controller. So what's black? This is black too, let's go to solo, this is for back wheels and this black one, let's go to solo, this is for front wheels. So, select this wheel 1 and wheel 2, wheel 3 and wheel 4, link to car controller. Select car, let's see. Okay, not bad. And select this reflection and glass, link to car layer. And select this glass layer, Control D for duplicate, select this reflection, move the inside to glass layers and click toggle switch modes go to non select alpha matte glass 2 so right now i can move reflection inside glass layer like this okay so select this car layer let's see nice and go to pen behind move the anchor point down here clearization tool and right now i can make rotation like this okay that's good so, select this car controller and press P, let's move to left, okay, I forget link this mirror car body, let's select this mirror layer, link to car and again select this car controller, move to back. So make new pass in keyframe and go to one second and move to center like this. Select keyframes, make easy or click F9. Let's say animation. Okay, select keyframes, go to graph editor and select this last keyframe, move to left. Let's say again. Okay, back to keyframe, select last keyframe, move to right for more slow animation. Okay, that's good. And in this time, select this car layer and press R, open rotation. Okay, let's see timing. In this time, make rotation keyframe and go to 10 keyframes. For shortcut, you can use hold shift, press page down in keyboard, or let me show other way. Click time duration, write plus 10 for go to 10 keyframes. Click OK and change rotation 3. Okay, and go to 10 keyframes again, change minus 1 dead 5. Go to 10 keyframes again, change 0, dead 5. Go to last keyframe, change 0. So there's more keyframes for smooth and bones animation, for realistic cat animation. Select rotation keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Okay, so select rotation keyframes, move to left. Nice. Okay, that's good. And let's select this reflection. Let's go to back and press P. Make new passing keyframe and go to back and move to left. Select keyframe, move to left. Make keyframes easy. And let's see. Nice. And go to graph editor. Select this keyframe, move to left for smooth reflection. Nice, I like it. So in this time, select this car layer. Let's press U for C keyframes and hold shift, press P. 
and go to here, go to first second, make new passing in frame and go to three chip frames. For go to frame by frame chip frames, use page down in keyboard. One, two, three, and move to down body. Go to one, two, three. Say first chip frame, copy pass. Say chip frames make easy. And say chip frames copy and control V for pass. Go to again last chip frame, control V for pass. Let's see. Okay, select this position chip frames, hold alt, move to right. Let's see. Nice. Okay, this is more realistic. I like it. So in this time I want to make real lines. Let's close car keyframes and reflection. So let's zoom here and go to shape layers, hold this icon, select this ellipse tool and hold shift, make one ellipse like this. Click station tool, go to fill, click here, select this no for close inside color, click OK and change stroke width, change 5 and go to color cube and select this eyedropper, select this color and change to black, click OK. Okay, so in this time, select this shape layer and let's put here like this. Okay, and open ellipse one and open stroke one. Right now, let's click dashes. Let's click this icon. Okay, and change dashes size like this. Nice. So in this time, select this shape layer one, move to here, wheel two and link to wheel 2. Let's see. Okay. So select this shape layer and go to search. Let's write here stroke. And let's open and close stroke. Right now open dashes and make offset keyframe. Go to back, make new offset keyframe here and go to last keyframe and change this offset minus 200 click enter let's see okay select two frames make easy go to graph editor make graph like a null object for car stop animation let's see okay back to two frames select last two frame move to right Let's write more. Okay, that's good. So, select this shape layer, go to stroke color, and let's use this color. Click OK. Okay, and change this layer name line 1, and Ctrl D for duplicate. Move to here. Okay and open inside contents ellipse 1 stroke 1 and let's open dashes go to last keyframe and for random animation let's change this minus 235 okay that's good so let's close settings and select these two lines and right mouse go to pre-compass, add name, wheel, line, 2, click OK, and open compensation, select these lines, move to center, and go to click this region of interest icon, select region like this, go to compensation, crop come to region of interest. Ok, so close compensation, and... Select this composition, again move to here and link to wheel 2. Let's see. Nice. And in this time, select this wheel line 2, go to pen tool and let's make mask like this. Okay, let's press M, go to max 1 and click inverted. Nice, let's see. 
Okay, very nice. Select mask one. Let's open inside. Select this mask path and change path like this. Let's see. Nice. So select these wheel lines. Control D for duplicate. Move to left. Move to up to wheel one. And let's put here. And let's say again. Okay, very nice. So in this time, let's after car stopping, go to here. Select this car controller. Let's press U for C Q frames, and make new passing Q frame. Go to here, move to back, and go to here, move to right, and let's see animation. Okay, we have problem with Q frames. Select these last three Q frames. Right mouse and go to Q frame interpolation. Change auto bezier to linear. Click OK. And let's say again. Nice. So select Q frames, go to graph editor and let's see. Select this graph. Move to like this. Select this work area. Okay. Select these Q frames. Let's move to right. Okay, back to keyframes. Select this car layer. Press U for C active keyframes. And right now, select these three passing keyframes. Copy and let's control V here. And here. Let's see. Okay, let's select keyframes. Move to left here. And copy, control V. Nice. And again, let's control V for PS G frames. Nice. And in this time, let's make new rotation for car body layer. And go to here. Chain rotation minus three. Let's see. Okay. And here, change four. Let's see. Okay, nice. Bad. Select this keyframe for car control. Go to graph editor. And let's make graph like this. Okay, select last keyframe, move to the left. Nice. And here, change zero. Okay, very nice. So in this time, let's make reflection keyframe. Select reflection, press U, make new passing keyframe, and go to here. Let's move right and move to left. Nice. So let's make again wheel animations. Let's close these two frames and in this time open wheel lines, select layers, press U and make new two frames and let's see next two frame. Okay. And let's animate wheels like this. Select work area. Let's see here. Okay, select two frame. Let's change a little bit back. Let's see here again. Okay, so let's delete last two frames. Again, I want to make new two frames. And animate a little bit to back. Let's see. Okay, that's good. And in this time, let's see next year frame. Okay, and let's animate like this. Oh, 
Okay, very nice. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.